You've probably noticed that in movies or on TV, a dog's vision is often portrayed through black and white shots. But is this cinematic depiction an accurate representation of a dog's actual view? Are dogs genuinely colorblind or can they see colors? The answer to this question is a nuanced combination of yes and no. Scientists estimate approximately 18 decillion color variations exist, yet the human eye can perceive only around 10 million of them. But what about dogs then? Well, dogs can perceive certain colors, but simultaneously, there are colors they are unable to distinguish. So, no joke here. Dogs have a limited color spectrum. But how does this work and what colors can they actually see? Let's explore that in a moment. Understanding color blindness requires grasping how the eye functions. The eye is composed of specialized cells and receptors called rods and cones. Rods detect motion and aid vision in varying shades of light, while cones differentiate colors. Humans possess three types of cones, whereas dogs only have two. The American Academy of Ophthalmology defines color blindness as the inability to see colors in a normal way. This means that a colorblind person cannot utilize all their cones to perceive colors accurately. Similarly, since dogs have fewer cones, they are not entirely colorblind. They can see a limited range of colors. This raises questions. How do dogs perceive the world and what colors are within their visual spectrum? There's a common belief that dogs see the world in black and white, largely influenced by TV series. This notion traces back to Will Judy, a dog enthusiast who in 1937 suggested that dogs had poor vision seeing only shades of black and gray. In the 1960s, the researchers hypothesized that only primates could discern color. Little research supported these claims, especially regarding dogs. However, research in Russia in 2013 revealed that dogs see the world in grayish-brown, blue, and yellow. With only two cones for blue and yellow, dogs have dichromatic vision, seeing only the two colors or combinations of the two. Red appears slightly brownish-gray or black, while yellow, orange, and green have a yellowish tint. Dogs see blue well, but purple looks the same as blue. Regarding color distinction, a dog's normal vision is comparable to a person with red-green color blindness. Their visual acuity is also less developed than that of humans, with some experts suggesting dogs have only 20 to 40 percent of normal human visual acuity. Now that you know your dog isn't entirely colorblind, you might be curious about enhancing their color experience. This knowledge can explain why some dogs prefer yellow tennis balls over those in pink or red. When engaging your dog with toys, choosing colors they can distinguish, such as blue and yellow, can enhance their interaction. For activities like fetching a ball or training exercises, opting for a blue and yellow item instead of red may be wise, as red and green likely appear more grayscale to dogs. In return for their limited color vision, dogs have undergone evolutionary adaptations that enhance their ability to navigate low-light conditions and detect movements effectively. Dr. Jerry Klein, the chief veterinary officer of the American Kennel Club, elucidates that in the context of nocturnal hunting, a dog's eyes are equipped with a larger lens, corneal surface, and a reflective membrane known as the tapetum, all contributing to an improved night vision. Additionally, the presence of more rods in the retina further enhances their capability to see in low-light conditions. Dogs have been endowed by nature with specialized visual features that are pivotal for their survival and triumph in the wild. Their heightened capability to see effectively in low-light conditions and detect subtle movements across substantial distances 